Breaking news, the NRA and several Pittsburgh residents have filed a lawsuit challenging the city's right to pass gun control laws. It comes after city council passed a controversial package of bills today. These bills would ban the use of certain guns and ammunition and keep guns away from those deemed to be a public threat. The bills now head to Mayor Peduto's desk and he is expected to sign them. Amy Wattis reports on what could happen next. Despite lawsuits and challenges that the city will likely face, city council voted and passed its controversial gun legislation six to three. Aye. Mr. Parkin? No. Mrs. Gross? Aye. After the vote came down, some people in the crowd clapped, but others like Dennis Jordan aren't too happy. I will not abide by that law. Make a criminal out of me. City Council voted on three bills. The bills would place restrictions on military style assault weapons, ban the use of armor piercing ammunition and high capacity magazines, and allow the temporary seizure of guns from people who are determined to be a danger to themselves or others. We know that extreme risk protection orders will help to, to reduce death, both by reducing suicides and by allowing courts to intervene. Um, to prevent future tragedies like we, what we experienced at the Tree of Life. Alan Willinger says he and his wife became more active in gun reform when his family member, Daniel Legger, was injured in the Tree of Life massacre. I'm glad Pittsburgh is, is uh, willing to take on the possibility of being sued because this is so important that it's worth being sued over. But others disagree. Where is the money going to come from when, you know, opposition wins and then there is, you know, court costs and, you know, uh, attorney fees? In fact, Second Amendment activists have made it known that they will challenge the legislation in court, pointing out that state law doesn't allow municipalities to regulate firearms. The legislation was watered down last week in an effort to make it more likely to survive a court challenge. Amy Wattis, KDKA News.